Hello everyone, this is Glitter Lantern. Today's video is going to be a little different than the ones that I normally do, like movie reviews, trailer reviews, and shows and other things. Today I'll be doing a book review. To be clear, I'll be doing a manga review. That is the Card Captor Sakura Clear Card Volume 1. I really haven't done any reviews on the first, you know, the Sakura card and the Clo card arc, but then since Clear card is like the latest thing, I'll be reviewing that, starting with volume 1. There will be a lot of time gaps between me reviewing all the books, some of them are not yet available, so I'll be doing volume 2 later on. This month, that is. Anyway, let's start. It actually, the book actually begins with a flashback story from the Cloak card and the Sakura card arc. Then we move on to the time that Sakura is currently 13 or 14 years old and has started going to middle school. And then, well, it's basically that we get on returning for this well in the very beginning like just within the first few pages then you understand that well she has this weird dream one day in which all the cards just turn clear and she just panics goes and opens the book with the sakura cards in them and they really are clear it was easy to expect since the book itself is known as the clear card and besides it is you know kind of evident then she goes to you to check you know what's wrong with the cards and they don't have any magic in them and then you understand that sakura's magic hasn't completely gone because she can still use the wand and all and besides, there's also this figure in the dream who is wearing a big cloak. She goes and tells this to Tomoe and Sharon, but both of them don't know anything either. Then she doesn't get a reply from Ariel, whom she told that such things are happening. And then later on, you figure out that it's purposefully kept a secret from her. Then she ends up having a dream which in which she gets this little key. Which just looks like the star stuff, but a little more, well, elaborate. And according to since it's from her dream, it is known as the dream stuff. Later on, there is this strange wind which starts blowing and she can't, well, use the sakra cards to solve the issue since they are blank and they don't have magical powers. And she did get this key from her dream and she ends up turning it into a staff and then she starts a new incantation which is basically forced with that master heed the call of my staff of dreams and become my power it actually makes a whole lot more sense and it's kind of larger and the card she gets is known as gale and actually the special thing about the clear cards is like whatever side is you know the it changes the parts that are clear in it and Tomoya is upset about and un being unable to film her capturing the card rest of the book is just basically them trying to bake a flair cheesecake a recipe that she got from chiharu then they just go on to check out one of the new costumes and the room turns into this strange thing with spirals all around and it is definitely not a dream and well she tries touching the walls but they just move away and Kero tries to do it as well while they are stuck in the room we get this scene from England with Ariel and you understand that uh, well all of them are kind of worried about what's going to happen to Sakura and Ariel clearly knows what something about it and he just doesn't say. Uh, meanwhile, they are stuck in this rubbery room and it's like a balloon according to Sakura and then you just figure out you have to pop it. 
it's quite an easy solution for a clear card I, I actually don't think it really works that way but since it's a story they just take up the end and pop it and she ends up capturing the card and securing it and it's a card known as the sage card and nothing else that's where the first volume ends also this is a pretty interesting volume the art style looks a whole lot better the cover page i really love the designs they put in like every few pages like in the beginning of every new chapter you nearly have kind of like a an artistic way of like it's kind of really beautiful you also clearly understand that you know, some of the characters such as ariel knows what is something about that's happening i don't think he knows everything but then i still don't really understand why they aren't telling sakura yet like it might be to protect her but i don't think it's really that bad to understand where her magical powers are coming from anyway that's it for this video thank you all for watching i'll be uploading the volume 2 pretty soon please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye